Although this is a low-selling comic book on the Comic Cron website, my comic book store has a lot of older gentlemen, fans of this thing. It's a high seller. And they caught me up, and here I am at issue 12. I can say I love everything about the Invaders. The artwork was very, and I'm just overviewing the whole series, was very appropriate with the writing. So Magno, what's your name over here? Artists Carlos Magno and Butch Geis. I guess you were doing the flashbacks. Both were effective. This was full. Like, every time I read a comic from this guy, from Chip Zdarsky. Yeah, this is the first time I've read this guy. And, I, and he does Daredevil. So Chip Zdarsky is on my good books. And he was doing a sign-in at Paradise Comics uh, in Toronto. And I could have went there back in freaking... I think it was in April that he did that. I chose not to go. Either way. Um, okay, so this is a good comic book. There was a part here where they were feeling selfish and sad about... You know, while the world was burning, you remember all those good times? Who can't relate to that? Who's had a friend or a loved one, you know, lose a loved one or, or had to think like, I'm smiling right now, but so-and-so is dead. Or any tragedy, you know, you're at, if you ever visit a hospital to see someone, then you're down to get a coffee in the or you're in the break room or the or staff room or wherever. And it's just, you know, there's so much negativity, but I'm still taking happiness so that, that meant a lot to me, and that's probably something that maybe most of you guys just read through. So the epic artwork in here was epic. I loved it. I want to say that Namor redeeming himself in here is all for nothing. He's going to be a villain again in Atlantis Attacks, wherever that goes. But this was started 12 months ago before this the, that idea had, incep had, it, had its inception. This beautiful artwork, I'm just talking about the artwork. See how Cap throws that shield? Very much like he did in the first Captain America movie. Ooh, and then uh, Happy Hogan tried to replicate it in Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, as he gets down here and he's mind wiped, Namor is going to try to fight it. His eyes were green, just a perfect tint to indicate that he's really fighting it and getting over it. But it was a message that he says that we remember that we've lifted each other out of darkness and and that together, side by side, more seek, um, we can win any war, it says. We can win any war. And I loved seeing that. The part at the end where now it's my turn to take, you know, to take revenge on the surface dwellers and Everyone's talking about what they sacrifice. It looks like Namor's going to have to sacrifice his bloodshed. His, he's going to have to suppress all of that hatred and everything inside of him to not kill this guy. They're going to take him as prisoner instead to not defeat him. He says it is over. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. He says putting the needs of a nation above your own, taking on burdens. Well, and, and uh, that's his burden over there. So... Everybody was finally represented. This was the Captain America that I want. Same with Bucky. Same with um, Human Torch. This is These are my invaders. These are my characters. Not what Tanahisi Coates is doing in Captain America. That literally no comic book is honoring. It's like he's still living in Secret Empire. Which is great. Except since everyone isn't following that. Then what the hell. Same with his Black Panther. It's like I'm reading the Agents of Wakanda and Black Panther has been the king of the Avengers for a year now. And we're still playing with the Intergalactic Empire. I just saw Storm a few issues ago there, like like House of X hadn't happened yet. She's, it's all strange. But uh, I'm done dissing Tiny Easy Coats. And I want to say that it was a very satisfactory ending. Thanks for watching my video. That's my thoughts on Invaders. And bye.